is everywhere. It can affect how we feel, how things taste, it can influence what we buy and even tell us what to do. Colour is personal. Today I'm going to show you how colour and space fit together. Light is made up of different colours and these different colours have different wavelengths. Red has the longest wavelength while violet has the shortest. But where do we get light from? Our biggest and most important source of light is the sun. Back in the 1660s, Sir Isaac Newton let a very thin stream of sunlight into his dark room and split it with a prism. Light is refracted when it enters the prism and each colour is refracted or made to change direction by a different amount. This means that the light leaving the prism is spread out into its different colours a process called dispersion. So Newton found out that sunlight is actually made up of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Sunlight isn't yellow at all, it's actually white. You can refract light yourself at home with a CD. There are these tiny ridges in the surface of the CD that are reflecting the light in different directions. I also have these cool glasses that split up the light. Here, have a look. It also happens with bubbles. When white light from the sun shines through the film of bubbles, the light is reflected and dispersed, splitting white light into its different wavelengths, revealing all the colours of the rainbow. This is how rainbows work. We get rainbows when it rains because the raindrops scatter the light when it shines through them. Why not have a go at making a rainbow yourself at home with some washing up liquid? <laughs> 